We're live. We're live? Are we live though? Is it on? It's on. Okay. Hey, quiet down over there. How's it going guys? Teach me grappling. I'm back. Uh, just wanted to show you guys something. Has this ever happened to you? Okay. You shoot a double leg. And you get guillotined. You shoot the double leg and you get guillotined. It happens. It's a common problem. And there's many ways to counter, okay, to countering the guillotine. Um, but one simple way that you guys can deal with this is to train what I'm gonna show you. First, we're gonna start out with just the cartwheel. So I, I don't need you right here, but so right here. Look guys, this is called a cartwheel. Okay, on one side, on the other, okay? You guys gotta know that drill. You guys should probably already be doing cartwheels. If you guys are training at a, at a place um, part of your mobility and your movements. Cartwheels are very important. You should be doing cartwheels every day So um, in your training. I mean, maybe not every day, but at least up until blue belt, you should be doing, you should be mastering the cartwheel. And then you've got to continually do that, just like a hip escape. Okay, a cartwheel is a fundamental movement that you need in grappling. Um, so the cartwheel. Next is the knee cartwheel, okay? You, you want to go from your knees, and then we're gonna do a cartwheel from here, okay? I'm gonna go to my left hand, so I'm going left knee, left hand, head, and right hand. Here, then I'm gonna jump off this foot, and cartwheel, okay? Right hand, head, left hand, leg goes up, I jump, and here. And then in full motion, Okay? All right, so you wanna know that cartwheel. And then you want to combine them. So you wanna start on your feet, do a cartwheel, and then land on your knees. Okay, so I'm here, left foot, left hand, and land on my knees, okay? And then I'm going right foot, with right hand, and land on my knees. Um, I guess you don't, you, on this one you're not really, um, going to touch your head. It's more like the cartwheel, you just don't land on your feet. So you hit a cartwheel and then land on your knees. Okay? Or at least this knee's down and this one's up. Okay? You could be on two knees, you could be like this. Okay? So one more this way. And right there. Okay? Then you want to bring in a partner and then this is how it looks. Okay? I'm just gonna shoot a double leg standing up. I'm not gonna uh, go to my knee like a, a wrestler shot, people call it. When you shoot in and you go to your knee. I'm just gonna hit a double, and then the guy's gonna take a guillotine. Either he can have an arm in guillotine or no arm. It doesn't really matter. I'm still gonna do the same thing, okay? I know some people are gonna argue about the high elbow guillotine. I'll discuss that another time in another video. So right now, let's just talk about the basic guillotine. Um, whether it be arm in or just no arm guillotine, just the neck. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot a double leg. Boom! He grabs onto my neck, I'm driving, and what I wanna do is I wanna, relax, I wanna do this, but there's so much pressure on my neck, he's bringing my head down. So what's gonna happen next is, if you drive, he wants to throw this leg, right here, his left leg, around my body. See that? So that you guys get caught. So I want to be inside control over here, so I have to learn how to cartwheel. Okay? So the movement is going to be this. Thank you, man. Okay? I go double leg. I'm driving. As he goes heavy on my head, I'm going to put my head down. Now look at my right hand. I can either do one or two things. Either I have it laced really good, so I have control, or if it's not really good, like this, I'll just pulse my hand. See how he stepped back a little? I'll just pulse my hand on the leg. And then now, as I go to the mat, watch my left hand, he's going down, I'm gonna pulse, and then cartwheel over. Now, if you land in a back bridge, if you land in a back bridge, activate your toes, and there's your double leg, just come right back. And now you're in side control. Drive your pressure, and then eventually he's gonna let go. We'll talk about it, uh, those kind of details, Von Flu choke and all that, 
uh, or just crushing him with your shoulder until he lets go. We'll talk about that later, okay? So, just teaching you to get to side control so you don't get finished when you shoot double legs, okay? So I wanna keep my head up. I don't want him to have this, but I got caught, you know? I got caught, I have to know how to hit that cargo and, and be on this side and activate on my toes, activate elevating my hips so that you don't get rolled, okay? And then you come back. I mean, I I've seen this happen before. Um, I'm gonna let you do this one, okay? Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and like, do the same thing, and I'm gonna flip and you go over the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch this. You'll go like this, and you'll go right over the mouth. You should have back just backward goal. Let's show again. Just do a backward goal. Again, yeah, you you're not used to doing that on, no. on that side, okay? All right, here, look, just do double leg, okay? Again, you're not, so, you don't understand. All right, let's go ahead. I'll try to figure this out. Look, I really wanna show this now, now that we've screwed this up a few times. Okay, look, relax, relax, relax. We go down, he doesn't know what he's doing. He flips over, and I back the roll into the mouth. That happens because you don't activate your hips. You guys gotta activate your hips. So when that starts to happen, when he starts to flip over, he activate yeah, bridge, bridge, yeah. No, don't go to that side. Bridge, no, go back. Bridge. <laughs> you, guys, if you bridge into this side, go ahead, bridge into that side, you're getting guillotined. Boom, go back. Now, high bridge, no, no, then walk around to that side. Very good, go back again. Remember, you don't want the guy to back a roll into the mount. So activate your hips, just activate with a bridge, and then walk your legs to your right. Yep, just like that, okay? So that's when, I'm going back to double it. When I do this, I don't want to be here and drop my butt. That's when the guy can back a roll if there's momentum. Go ahead, back a roll. And he goes there, so I go back. And then if I, if I bridge and I go over to this side, I end up in a deep guillotine. Now go ahead, wrap. You see, whether arm in or not, doesn't matter. Could be, some guys love the arm in guillotine. Other guys are just gonna have the neck, right? Either way, if I go like this, it's really tight. I'm gonna be in a bad spot. So let's say I was here. What do I wanna do? I wanna back bridge and I wanna walk around this side. Now I can go arm around his neck, drive the shoulder. Okay, just like so. So, we have to know how to call it Ideally, when you hit double legs, I wanna be here, I wanna be like this, but the guy squeezes your neck, and you have to know how to cartwheel that other side. If my hips are incorrect, or not incorrect, but just inverted, facing up, I always rotate my hips right back, and now the guy's trying to hold me or bridge or whatever. I'm on my toes, letting him waste his energy. He's not gonna choke me. I'm gonna drive my shoulder and just wear him out. Eventually, I'll get up here in a second. Okay? You have to know this. It does not matter if you're on your knees. Boom! I'm here. I wanna cover. Okay? If I do it lefty on the other side, boom! Okay? Left, right, left, right. Do not go right, left, okay? Make sure you guys get that as well. Sometimes, if you don't train it on one side, you wanna make sure that you have a nice cartwheel so that the leg closest to his body goes first and then the other leg follows. Okay, you can do that with this drill. And your back. Okay, here, I grab a double leg, head on the same side. Head on the same side. What I don't do is this. That would be backwards. This would be backwards. What I'm gonna do is the leg closest to him, right, left. Left, right. Right, left. And the more you use that, you're gonna use that to pass the guard a lot. Okay, this applies to all your guard passing.
but especially any time you end up running into a guillotine. Last time, and we'll put it to rest. I hit a double leg, right into side control, and you guys are good to go, okay? You've gotta have that skill, and I don't think that skill is probably taught a lot. Um, knowing the cartwheel, and then also knowing how to bridge, and come back, and come back to your base. Okay, that's real, real, real important. All right, I think that's it. That's the video for the day, guys. Thank you guys so much. Please, help me out. If you wanna keep all this uh, content coming, hit su uh, subscribe, like it, share it, but also click on the link down below at Patreon. Help me out, drop a dollar. This helps you if you learn something. You guys will spend all your money on, you know, Starbucks. You could at least drop a buck or two saying, hey, thank you guys. Thank you for giving me some extra technique. We're putting out videos almost every single day. Thank you guys so much. Take it easy. Teach me grappling.